Hello everyone and welcome to Scion Park. I'm Howard from HDS Electrical and here we're going to take you through networking up Scion Park. So, this is the main shop room. Up there, which we'll show you in a minute, is the mezzanine. What we've wired in here, we've done a bit of cable tray along the top with 12 Cat6 cables going that way, various colours. We've got two to every point, so every point's got a main one and a backup to be used for anything in future and also to be used as a backup. That's why it's called a backup, just in case anything goes wrong. Come with me, we'll show you. Right, so here we are. Here we have our bonded pole. The company were supposed to be supplying four of these but they haven't and they open on Monday. We've got separate containment for power in there, separate containment for data, bonded, both go underneath morning. Over here, so we've manufactured this from a couple of bits of conduit joined together, one for power and one for data. Going down to the tills, once again, it's gonna be bonded. Over here, by our big pile of some of the remaining data cables. We've got another two, one for power, one for data. And if you come with me around here, up there, you can see two more cables, four more cables, orange cables. They are for phone system and for access points on the rear. We've got some nice ubiquity units. Let's go up on the mess. Here we go, one access point ubiquity plus a spare cable, obviously all labelled. They've asked for all the spare cable rather than be terminated tight to be looped up in this case in case they decide to move it, need to strip any off or anything like that. Repeater style, here's one I did earlier. Only kidding, we haven't finished yet. So this is for a printer in the barbecue section. I imagine it's because they think a printer looks like a barbecue. Uh, we've got two cables, two points. All our points come along this containment and drop down. Plus, we have three fibres we're going to go through later. Right, Ellis, to the offices. Here we are, we're not gonna show you in there, but in there we've got the main rack and where all our data cables for those two rooms are coming through, plus three fiber cables. We've got three fiber supplies going to three other racks. They're all OM3 multi-mode LC to LC connectors on the end. If you wanna know what that means, ask me in the comment section. We might explain a bit more about that later. In that room, we won't show you in there because there's a gentleman in there. In that room, we've got four points, four data, four computer systems. Through here, we didn't bring a fiber supply, we brought a CAT 6A supply for a rack just going up here. We've got a dedicated supply from a fuse board up there. All comes along. This has all been done after it's finished, which isn't ideal, but it needed doing, so we've done it anyway. We've tried to keep it as discreet as possible. Obviously, segregation of band one and band two. All going, we'll start over this way. This is the plant room. Not to be confused with a plant room. This plant has actual plants rather than having boilers. Why do we call a plant room a plant room if it's got boilers in? So up here, we've come along with the air conditioning system, doing our best to minimize it. On this side, we've got two sets of cables up there, two for an access point, two for a phone system. As, as before, we got a backup for everything. So we've got one of our racks over there, that's got the CAT6A coming in, and all our phone points and access points. Can you see? Just by that aircon unit, we've got another two purple, two orange cables. They go to another phone system and another access point. All right. So 
So this is the outdoor plant area. Bit chilly at 7 a.m. This is Scion Park. That's my office, I wish. So once again, two and two, two for an access point, two for phone system. Let's have a look around this way. We've worked in worse places. I take it back, that's my office. Once again, four cables, two for Wi-Fi, two for phone system. Grade one listed building. That, ladies and gents, is our cameraman, Ellis. He doubles, <laughs> he doubles as an electrician. Here's the stables. None of their horses need Wi-Fi, so we haven't put any in. Right, let's go this way. So, this is the farm shop over here. Tills were all meant to be over there, but they might have a butcher's now. We have uh, two cables for the till system ready to be terminated. We still have to get two cables for the power. Now they're not having a till pipe drop. We've got four cables up there for Wi-Fi and for phone system. Let's go through here. It's a bit messy here, not ours. So not our mess. We're gonna, we've ripped most of the stuff out of that panel. We've terminated one panel. Need to tidy these up a bit. Um, that's our fiber incomer there. That's our main panel. Obviously the ubiquity gateway. Converting stuff, we got two more data. Two cat six, two cat six A, two terminate. Little map of Scion Park. Absolutely beautiful. If you need a garden centre, Hillier's Scion Park, great day out. They've got a restaurant, they've got a catering pod, we're going to see. They've got a farm shop, they even sell plants. Right up here, we've got another two Cat 6A cables for use of an access point of the goods in yard and possibly a camera as well, extra security. A <sighs> couple more, some historic rubbish. Couple more, storage A, storage B for use of a computer. Bit of power for use of a computer with a goods in. Checking them in, checking them out. That's true barn. Just mentions Henry VIII. Another fibre supply. Ignore this. This isn't ours. Fibre supply coming in for another rack. We'll come back to this area. That's just the restaurant courtyard. Another rack in there. We've got four systems for the tills in the restaurant. Two for access point inside. Two for phone systems inside. Two for order machine behind the bar. Two for order machine in the kitchen. Two for order machine by the front door. They've got a new order machine by the front door for COVID regulations. Two for access point. Cat 6A externally on the edge covering the courtyard and the glass building. 
And finally, we have the catering pod and the clock tower. I'm not sure how we're gonna quite do this yet because that is all a grade two listed building and we're not allowed to touch it. Funny enough, now they got two ducts under there, but they haven't left any draw wires in. We're gonna try again hoovering something through, but the guys tried yesterday and it didn't work. It's not, well, it's not been installed like someone designed to hoover through it. So the end doesn't come into this building. Right, in here we got two for a TV and power for a TV. We're gonna change ours to metal clad. Um, big old fuse board in here. We're gonna run our rack off that as well. Don't worry, it is all dead. Our rack is going out of sight, out of mind. Here's one we racked earlier. So we've got power in there. We've got one fiber supply in there. Um, coming along the top, dropping down. We've got two for an access point outside. We're meant to have four going into the catering pod, but as I said, we don't know how we're gonna do that yet, but we don't have a choice. 